In statistics, we rely on the assumption that our data is normally distributed, that is, that it follows a normal curve when we look at the scores. In order to determine if our data are normally distributed in order to make inferences from a sample to a population, we can create a histogram. Here I have a data set open in SPSS and I have a set of scores. I'm interested in determining if my data are normally distributed. To look at the distribution of my data, that is the percent correct field here or variable, I'm going to go to graphs, legacy logs, and then from here I'm going to select histogram. In the variable box, I'm going to move over the percent correct, which is the variable that contains the scores. And then I'm going to click on display normal curve, and then I'm going to select OK. The histogram generated by SPSS shows that our data are not normally distributed. It does not follow that normal curve. In this example, our data are negatively skewed, which means that the scores form a tail on the left-hand side. If we look at the right-hand side, we can see that most of the scores are piled up on this side, and there are no scores forming that tail of the right-hand side of the curve. When our data are not normal, we have skewness. Skewness is a measure of lopsidedness. In other words, that our distribution of data lacks symmetry. When we have a normal distribution that follows that normal curve, we find that the mean, the median, and the mode all fall at the middle. That's the midpoint. However, when we have a negative skew, as in the example that was generated by SPSS, we see that the mode, the median, and the mean all have a different location along the curve. In a positive skew, we see a similar pattern, but the reversal. It's like a mirror image of a negative skew, where we have first the mode, then the median, and then the mean.